back again. Now, I'm all done with my second color black, printing it on top of my first color red, and these are the resulting images right there. Here, I left the black on the second stage of the plate, or on the block, just to show you how the image appears on the block in reverse of what you see there on the paper. And of course, remembering that this is a two color print, so the red went down first several times. I had to print it several times, and maybe five or six. And then I washed the block very carefully, uh, hot soapy water using a sponge. I dried the block off. And with my same lino cut tool, I then cut back into the block. Anything I cut into the block was going to then stay red. Anything I didn't cut, left alone, would print in the second color black. And that's exactly what happened. The areas you see in red right here, uh, that was the second cutting. So those lines stayed red, the black then on top of that where I didn't cut at all. And actually, I think it turned out pretty good. Now, I had printed more than just these three, uh, but these were the ones I was happiest with, so the other two probably will be thrown away, and I'll just keep these three. Now, when you create an edition, a printed edition like this, and all the images are of pretty good quality, pretty much identical quality, here's what you wanna do next. Using a pencil, you want to sign and number. You can also title the work if you want to. So here's how that happens. I have three images. So in the middle, you see one over three, like a fraction. Here's two over three, and here's three over three. The addition size is three. That's all that I made. This is the first one. This is the second one. This is the third one. Do they really have to be in that order? Not really, since all the images are pretty much identical. This didn't have to be the first one. This might have been the fifth one but I just happen to number it one, number it two, number it three. So three total images. This is the third one I numbered. Three total images. This is the second one I numbered. Three total images. This is the first. Now I went ahead and gave this a title. I called it SUP, like what's up, question mark. So either I'm asking him what's going on or he's asking me what's going on. That's the question, what's up? And then of course, over here on the far right, you see my first initial, my last name, my first initial, my last name. You sign it however you want to. You might just sign it with your initials. You might just sign it with your last name, your first name. All that's up to you, but you always sign in pencil. You always number in pencil. You always title in pencil right here at the bottom of the image, okay? Now, you try.